Again, welcome to Principles of Epidemiology. In these lectures, we're going to discuss about crude, specific, and also adjusted rates. So first we start with the crude, the definition of a crude, and then we go to specific, and then we discuss about adjusted rates. So our main objective is to define what is a crude rate, what is a specific rate, and also what is adjusted rate. And we are going to use some examples to clarify. So first we start with the crude data. Here we say the term crude means that the rate or risk is based on raw data. So the definition here, first we start with crude or cost mortality rate. Again, crude or cost mortality rate, which is the total number of deaths from all causes per 100,000 population over a specified time period. So example here in 2015, which is our time period the whole year, there were 4,316 deaths from all causes in Alaskan population of 738,432 individuals. So the crude all cost mortality rate will be the number of deaths we have divided by the total population. So we are going to get 4,316 divided by 738,432. We can reduce the fraction to 584 per 100,000 population. Next, we are going to talk about crude morbidity rate for a specific disease. Again, this will be the number of cases of a disease per 100,000 population over specified time period. So the example we have here, Suppose that in the same year, which is 2015, the whole year 2015, there were 250 cases of TB in Alaskan's population of 738,432. In this case, the crude morbidity rate will be of TB cases will be the total number of cases divided by the total population. So we get 250 divided by 738,432. Or we reduce the fraction to 34 per 100,000 population. So now suppose we want to compare crude rates, uh, let's say two or more states. In this case, example given to us is Alaska and Florida. So the crude mortality rate in Alaska and Florida Again, Florida, the total number of deaths we have in 2015 was 191,737. The total population was 20,271,272. So the crude mortality rate per 100,000 will be 191,737 divided by 20 million 271,272 multiplied by 100,000. We want our answer to be per 100,000. So we divide 191,737 by 20,271,272. Then we multiply by 100,000. And our answer will be 945.9 cases, or in this case, death. And roughly, we say 946 deaths per 100,000 population. The same thing applied to Alaska, the total number of deaths is 4,316. So we divide that by the total population, which is 738,432. Then we multiply by 100,000. So our answer will be 585 per 100,000 in the population. So we compare this to, but here we may have a problem, especially when we are doing comparison. There may be a third uh, co-founding variable that makes Florida number of deaths went up. Uh, so this will not be a fair, if we are doing no comparison, then we can use the crude, this is called the crude analysis. We can use the concept of the crude rate. But if we are doing comparison with other states or other region, then we have to be more fair. 
you should consider maybe in this case, we are talking about death rates. So let's consider maybe the age and or other characteristics of persons that can have a can have effect on their deaths. Number one, most of the time can be age, because most likely old age people die and they get more sick up, more prone to, <coughs> excuse me, to sickness than younger generally or younger people. So our question will be, so again, this is the calculation. We divide 191,737 by 20 million 271,272 multiplied by 100, and this is what we have. And the same thing applied to Alaska also. So now our conclusion will be the crude mortality rate in Florida is much higher than the crude mortality rate in Alaska. Now, does that mean that the risk of death is truly higher in Florida? Our answer will be no, because of co-funding variables or other factors. So here we can see Alaska is only 585. Florida is almost twice, which is 946 per 100,000 population for both. So now the problem is the state population differ with respect to underlying characteristics, especially age. And here we are going to use only age as an example, because age have a lot of uh, factors. All age have an association uh, with a death. So here we break it down. So now we move out from crude analysis to specific rate or analysis. So we group the age of the population of both Florida and Alaska into five different categories. Those who are less than five, those between five to 24, those between 25 to 44, between 45 to 64, and also 65 or older. So here, by looking at the category, starting from less than five years, we find out that Florida have only 5.4. Alaska is more, 7.5. In the second category, Florida is 23.5. Alaska have more, 28.5. With the third category, Florida 25, Alaska still have more. So all the younger generations up to we can see up to 28.5, which is up to 44 years, we have more Alaska. But now from 45 to 64, Florida is a little bit higher than Alaska. And most likely this is the last group, 65 years and older makes the difference. Florida is way 19.4, while Alaska is only nine. And also when we consider situation, we can even say because of weather, uh, most retirees and old people prefer to reside or stay in Florida than Alaska to cold. So because of this, we're going to use the concept of specific rates instead of crude rates. So that's the way to deal with the unfair comparisons. So the definition of a, a specific rate is a rate that has specific to a particular subgroup. In our example, we are going to use an age, but also there can be a race specific, uh, sex specific, or status, uh, uh, economic status, social economic status specific. Uh, so we have so many characteristics of a person that we can focus on. But in this example, again, we are focusing on age. So now the first thing we're going to find the all-cause death rate from one to four years old. Here we have 26 by 100,000. So we can say that all-cause death rate for 80 to 84 years, we can see it's more higher, 6,027 per 100,000. So this is just an example. Uh, age specific. Uh, the younger people, again, between one to four, only few die, 26 out of 100,000. But those over 80 years to 84, over 6,000 per 100,000 population. Now we also have a sex specific. We can say, okay, all cause death rate for males is 839 per 100,000. And also for 
female is 804 per 100,000, which means at least slightly uh, more males die than females. So this will help us to solve the fairness of the, our problem, our example of comparing Florida and Alaska. So now this is the death rate per 100,000. When we do the calculation, we count how many between the age up to less than five, let's say zero to four. When we do the calculation, we have 151.1 per 100,000, which we, we calculate the number of people within that age divided by the population on that. And the same thing we did to the second group, third group, and those are the specific group rates, death rate for each group. Still, we have Florida is high because totally again will give us, but this will give us the idea that when we look at a specific group, we can see that, for example, those who are less than five, uh, we have more people died in Alaska than Florida. By the old age, they are more in Florida than Alaska, etc. So now comparing age specific mortality rates in Alaska and Florida, our problem is that it's cumbersome to compare five pairs of numbers. We have five pairs of groups, but it's not entirely clear which state has the higher mortality. So for example, one, pay, one age specific rate is higher in Florida, let's say among 65 years and over, and also four age specific rates are higher in Alaska. Now, the solution to this problem is to create a single number for each state that adjusts for age differences. So that will take us to the next objective of our course, uh, adjusted rates. So again, these lectures, we went through the crude rates, specific rates, and also adjusted rates. So these numbers are called the age adjusted. Again, the, the example we are using here is about age. So age adjusted can be gender adjusted, can be sex adjust, adjusted, et cetera. So first we, go, we are going to revisit our crude rates, uh, the, our first example. And this is our crude rates again. Uh, here we had all the number of deaths. We didn't consider the age differences. So that's our crude rate for Florida and crude rate for Alaska per 100,000 population. So the next thing we're going to do is, uh, so this is how we calculated it as we did previously. So now the next thing we're going to do is to take the weighted average of age specific rates with weights equal to the proportion of the population in each cat category. This is the best way to solve the problem. So we are going to consider each, uh, for example, let's say between the age uh, zero to four, how many, what is the total population of that and how many die between the age of 85 and over, what is the total population? How many that? So we are going to be more adjust. Every. So here we say, but there's another way to calculate the crude rate. Take the weighted average of each specific rate, each specific rate with weight equal to the proportion of the population in each category. Again, proportion of the population in each category. So here we have the result for death rate per 100,000, 2015. We are using the same five, again, age groups. With Florida, we have 151.1. One, we already did these calculations for the specific rates, but now we're going to find the percentage and that's what we have 5.4, 23.5, et cetera. The same thing applied to uh, Alaska also. So now the crude rate is equal to the sum of, again, that's the percentage of population in each group. So we're going to consider the percentage of each population. So for example, in uh, Florida, only the percentage of the population in uh, between the age of zero to four 
it's only 5.4. 65 years and over is 19%, etc. So that's the formula for the crude rate now, our new formula. The sum of the percentage of population in that age group times the age specific rate, which we find already. So this is how we get it. The weighted average method to calculate the crude rate again is the sum of percent of percentage of population in each age group times the age specific rate. So remember we have 151.1 divided by 100,000, then we multiply that by the percent. The percent was 5.4 for the first age group, 5.4. So that would be 0 0.054. Then we add it to the second group. The second, we have 47.1. So 47.1 per 100,000 times the percentage of that population, 23.5. Uh, so it would be 0 0.235. So we do the same thing for the rest of the age groups and with their percent. For example, here we have 19.4. So it will be 3,671.2 divided by 100,000 multiplied by 0 0.194. So when we had all the five finish, we get 945.9 .9 per 100,000. And that's for Florida. Then we do the same thing for Alaska. And Alaska also we have 7.5%, which will be 0 0.075, 28.6 will be 0.286, multiplied by the crude rate, 68.1 per 100,000 divided by. One. We had all this, we get 584.5% per 100,000. So this is another way of calculating the the crude rate. Now we need to do the adjustment as we said, the age adjusted rate first is to calculate it using direct standardization. So summarize rate that account for age difference between population. Also the numbers are adjusted for age and these are called the age adjusted or age standardization rate. Now, any differences between the rates cannot be attributed to age. And what kind of answers, questions? Uh, here we can say, what would, would the debt rate be if the states had identical age distribution? And I think that's our main goal here. We can see the debt rate is different between Florida and Alaska, but also one of the major characteristics of the population is age. Age also is quite different. So what of if the age and all their characteristics are the same for the population? This is where we can have a fairness of the death rate. So this is where we're going to do the age. In this case, we are using age, but we can also adjust any attributes. So what age distribution we need? We say any that you want, usually US population will be used. The method uses weighted averages. So information need to calculate age adjusted rate will be the age specific rates and also weight from standardized population. So this is our previous results per 100,000 age specific debt rates, we already calculated for the five categories. Now, the weight from a standardized population of 2015, here we are going to get 19,907,281, which will be 6.2. 6, 6, uh, 6 here we are using the US population. And also we have for between five to 24, uh, 25 to 50, uh, 44, 45 to 64 and the rest. And we can see the total population here in US is 321,418,820. This is again, 2015 US population. So the whole idea is to adjust the age adjusted rate 
based on the US population. So next, instead of using 5.4, as we see, instead of using 5.4, we are going to use the US average age, actual uh, age, and for both. So we have 6.2, 6.2, 26.4, 26. So they are all the same age. Uh, so the whole concept here is that if we consider only Florida and Alaska, we saw it in the beginning, Florida population age is higher than Alaska age. So maybe that's what contributed to the death rates. So how do we solve this problem? Here we are adjusting the age by using the US population average. So we go take a sample, I mean, take the survey of the whole US and we look the average age for the whole US population for all the five category groups, we came up with this value. So we are assigning the same values to both states. Then from here, we can calculate the death rate for the two states. So we'll see how the answer look. Again, this is the US population have, uh, age group, the five categories uh, population for the US. So now we can do our calculation here. We can see that here now we are using the age adjusted rate in Florida. Now we are using 6.2 instead of, uh, and also when we come to Alaska, we are using the same 6.2% for the first age group. And so all the calculations here, we will see that is the same point, 0 0.062. The next is 0.264. Here also is 0.264. Uh, the last one gave us 0.149. Here also is 0.149. So we are using the same weighted so we say weighted average of age specific weight where weights are the age distribution standard population. So this is the standard US population age distribution. The age distribution, the standard of the whole US population. So you can see that when we do this calculation, we get 780,000 per 100,000, which is again still Florida is high but not too high and Alaska came up because Alaska population were too young, uh, very younger than average uh, US population uh, age groups. So that's why Alaska rate, that rate came up from somewhere around five, I think it was 586 or so, 585 to 750.8. But Florida age dropped because Florida average age for all the five age category was higher. Most of them were higher than national average US population. So Florida drops down. And we can see that data here. So 5.4 5 moved to 6.2, then 23.5, uh, we change. So the younger went up and the older, which is up, went down. But in Alaska, we can see the younger went down and the older went up. So this contribute to reducing the death rate is a little bit reduced in Florida and Alaska was increased comparing to the crude rate and here age adjusted rate. Now to interpret the age adjusted rate, we can say that these are the, again, hypotentical depth rates that will have occurred in Florida and Alaska if each state had age distribution of entire US population in 2015. So we use the entire US average age population or the five age categories. So the remaining differences between the two adjusted rates is not due to age, but adjusted rates are good only for comparisons. As we said earlier, if we are doing only one state or one specific group, crude analysis is okay, crude rate is enough. But when we are doing comparison, we may know we have two states or two groups 
there may be some attribute that can make the difference. So again, I just said rates are good only for comparison. Alone, they are meaningless. And if you have only one group, there's no need to do any adjusting. So the actual numbers will depend on the standard that is used. So for the crude rate, Florida, we have 945.9 per 100,000. Crude rate for Alaska, we have 584.5 per 100,000. This is for crude analysis. Now for the age adjusted rate for Florida, it went again down to 780 per 100,000 because Florida age category group are more higher than national average. Now the age adjusted rate for Alaska went up because Alaska age groups are younger than the US average age groups. So was the crude comparison confounded by age? Yes, what is your conclusion by the age adjusted difference in mortality rate? So in my case, I was, we will say yes, there's a, a confounding variable here this by the age. So my conclusion by the age adjusted difference in mortality rate is that since we are using the national standard, which is the US average, age groups, this will more apply, we can apply this result again for the whole population. This, is, this will be more fair comparisons. But again, if we are doing only one state and there's nothing, we don't need to do any comparisons, then adjusted rates is not important. Unless we want to compare Florida with national US average, then we still can do adjusted also. Use adjusted rate. So again, that's the conclusion of this lectures. And this lecture again focus on how we can do the differences between the crude analysis, specific rates, adjusted rates, how we can again use three of them in analyzing uh, data. Here we are trying to find a relationship in a debt rate. So again, wish everybody the best and thank you.